Hi YouTube, Dylan Olson back here with another drawing tutorial. Today, we're going to be drawing one of the greatest supervillains in the DC Universe, Slade Wilson. Or you might know him better as Deathstroke. So let's begin. First off, you need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm just using some basic paper out of the printer, nothing real special or specific. If you want to use a sketchbook, that's fine. And... Deathstroke's head, like most heads, we start with a big circle for the top, and then we draw the jawline. We've drawn these jawlines a bunch of times in these videos. It's just a angled line down, a straight line on the side. And then we'll put in the center line to know where the middle of the face is. And remember to always draw lightly at first, so that way when you make mistakes, you can cover it up very well. And then we have to draw his, he has this neck piece that goes around it. And on this side of his head, there's a little bit of a circle that goes over the ear and then we draw this this kind of square shape for his body this is his upper body shape which is a little bit square like Then I'm drawing these long oval-like shapes for his for his arms. Then we're gonna put this kind of half lower half circle shape for his upper bot for his lower body. Then we'll put kind of a square under it. Then we'll put center line down there too. So we got our basic building blocks. Now it's time to start with his face. And Deathstroke, he has one eye. He wears an eye patch under his mask, so we draw this kind of almond shape, well, half of one, on this side here. Just straighten out this side. And then we'll draw the other side. And this one will, will not have an eye showing. And make sure to put a little bit of detail around the eye. And then we'll get the back side of his head. And there's a there's the circular thing that goes on that side. It's like the earpiece that covers his ear. And then right here we draw the this side of his mask there's also a center line there and the center line should be like a little bit away from that so that his he's turned so the line doesn't follow the shape of the neck so it moves a little bit then we're going to put some neck lines and on the side of it there are these lines they're like like seams and now right here we're going to draw the neck piece and 
and right bus on this has these like kind of bolts so we just draw these circles that go around it and there's going to be four of them one two three four just like that and then we're going to draw this other part of his shirt but actually what we need to do first is we need to draw his kind of like bandolier so you just draw these two different curves like this Oh, and also across, it's got this stripe. So we'll draw that. But let's get on to the bandolier first. So first, we're going to darken this side. And make sure to put a little curve at the end of that stripe. And there's another stripe that goes across. So we're gonna draw another curved line that's parallel to this. Then we're gonna darken these sides. And then we draw the ammo, which will be these long flattened out ovals that go all around it. It's a little, take your time. You might need to take some breaks for the, between this, because drawing all these lines takes a bit of a long time but take your time drawings do take time in many things that looks pretty good just like that Okay, now we need to maybe at least just get this side of the arm defined like that. Then we need to draw the stripe that goes across from this side. And then we need, to, then we draw the armpit line right there. And then we're gonna draw this other neck piece that's going to be shaped like a really slight curve with some muscle lines like that. And then right here you draw the There's the side of his arm. But before we get the rest of it, let's get this, the, up, the rest of his upper body, starting with his shoulder and the rest of the stripe that we put earlier. And then here's the side of his body followed with a must rib line. And then we can Now we can draw the other side of his arm like that. Now we need to draw each side. He's got these stripes on his arms. 
on both sides. And each of them got different things. This one's got lines that go upside down across it. And this side has, a cir has circles that go across it. And now we're gonna draw his belt. It's a utility belt, kind of like Batman's, but a little different. And it's gonna be consisting of a lot of different squares. This, this side will have three pockets, but this one is gonna look like it's turned. And this side will be, sh this pocket will be in a three quarter view. So we draw a rectangle across from that. Okay, let's get started on the belt. So we'll draw this pocket. There's the side of it. And then you draw these U shapes for the flaps along with the circle at the top. And now here we get the other side. Okay, now we'll draw the flap and the same thing with here. Then you're gonna put circles in the middle of them. And then we'll draw the belt buckle right here. Then you draw the middle rectangle. <sighs> okay, now we have to draw the gun holster that he has on his right hip. So we'll draw this square and this sort of triangle that goes like this. Here's the back side of the gun. Here's the, tr the grip of the gun and the trigger guard and then the trigger. Then we'll get the other side of that belt pouch like that. Okay, now let's finish the rest of his arms. So we'll draw this. And let's also get the other side of the arm. And we also need to get this side of his arm. And we have to draw these wrinkles on his trunks. Will be a series of different lines like that. I'm gonna draw the trunk lines like that. Okay, now we have to get his gloves. So for the gloves, you draw these V shapes that go like this. Then you bring them all the way down
and then we get the other glove right here. Except one side will be a little smaller and one side will be a little longer because this is drawn in perspective. Like I always say about perspective, so smaller things are further away and bigger things are a little closer. Then we'll darken that. Okay, we look like we're done, but we are not, because if you remember, he carries a sword on his back. And his sword is going to be a quite a collection of shapes. So we'll start with a square right here with a line on the top. And then a, going on top of it is this long skinny rectangle with these kind of triangles that go like this. Then at top, we're gonna draw these, draw the handle, which will be another square, another rectangle, and a circle at the top, just like that. And then right across it, draw these lines for the grip like that and last but not least we're almost done behind his head he's got like these bandolier it's kind of like we're gonna have it flowing in the breeze And don't forget to put some behind this. It can look like they're behind his sword. And then what we can now do is you can shade in his this dark side of his mask, one without the eye, black. And remember to leave some white spots because it creates like a highlight. And also put some on his neck here. And there you go. That is Deathstroke. Write your name on it and hang it on your refrigerator. Thanks for watching this video. If it helped you, like this, like it, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.